What if the key to unlocking perpetual bliss lies not in the material world, but within the complex labyrinths of our own brains? Imagine understanding the very essence of joy and harnessing it. Today, we delve into the intriguing world of happiness, exploring its scientific backbone and discovering how we can cultivate it in our everyday lives. Firstly, let's talk neurotransmitters, those tiny chemical messengers in our brains that play a massive role in how we feel. Two stars in the story of happiness are undoubtedly dopamine and serotonin. Dopamine, often dubbed the feel-good hormone, isn't just about pleasure. It's deeply involved in motivation, driving us to take actions that anticipate rewards. When you savor that first bite of your favorite chocolate, it's dopamine that's lighting up your brain's reward pathways. On the other hand, serotonin regulates mood, appetite, and sleep. It maintains our mood balance, and a deficit of serotonin often leads to depression. Interestingly, this neurotransmitter is modulated by various factors, including sunlight and exercise. So when people talk about the natural high from a morning run or the calm after a sunny day at the beach, serotonin plays a big part in that. But happiness isn't just about chemical interactions within our brains, it extends into the realm of our social connections and relationships. Humans are inherently social creatures and strong social ties are a cornerstone of psychological well-being. Studies show that people with meaningful relationships tend to be happier, healthier, and live longer. It's the quality, not necessarily the quantity, of these relationships that counts. Deep, trusting bonds where one feels valued and supported contribute significantly to our happiness quotient. Now how does one cultivate happiness in daily life? While the idea might seem elusive, there are actionable strategies that can lead to an increase in overall happiness. First. Engage in regular physical activity. Exercise not only boosts your physical health, but also has a profound impact on your mental health. Thanks to the release of endorphins, another group of feel-good neurotransmitters. Next, practice mindfulness and gratitude. Being present in the moment and appreciating the small things can shift your perspective from what's lacking to what's abundant. Keeping a gratitude journal, where you jot down things you're thankful for every day, can significantly increase your sense of happiness. Lastly, always keep learning and trying new things. This stimulates the brain and keeps it active, often leading to a more fulfilled and happy life. Whether it's learning a new language, picking up a musical instrument, or gardening, new activities can provide fresh sources of joy and satisfaction. To sum up, the science of happiness is a vibrant field that combines neurobiology, psychology, and practical daily activities. By understanding the role of neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin, valuing and nurturing our relationships, and actively engaging in happiness-boosting activities, we can all lead richer, more joyful lives. So remember, happiness isn't just a fleeting emotion, but a state we can cultivate with knowledge, effort, and perhaps a little bit of science.